So let's construct a consolidated statement of financial position. We start with our non current assets. And if you remember in the question, in fact, let's look at the question. We have their property, plant, and equipment near the top. Property, plant, equipment, 900 and 500. So how much of the 500 do I bring in? Do I bring in 75% or all of it? And the answer is all of it, because obviously you can control all of it. So don't fall into the trap of bringing 75% in, because you want to go for the reality. The economic reality is, of course, that you own all of it. I beg your pardon? You control all of it, even though you don't own all of it. That is the point. So let's see. The non-current assets, property, plant, and equipment, 900 for the parent plus all of the 500 of the sub. Not just 75%. Do be careful. All of it, not just 75%. So that's 1,400. Then you have Goodwill, which we worked out as, have a check, 340. You can add it up if you wish, 1740. And then you have your current assets, which of course is the inventory. and trade receivables, it's an asset after all, inventory and trade receivables, which is of course 350 plus 400, call it 750. So a bit to the right, I'm going to say 750. I think we have a dollar sign higher up the page. Let's have a look. Yep, there it is. 750. And then you've got P's books. Whose books are they in? The sub subsidiary current account stands at 200, but of course we're removing 200 because it's intercompany. And of course, it's a control cancellation, if you remember. So actually, the answer here is nil. So I'd always be inclined to actually do something like that, because the marker will be instructed to give a mark for the person who bothers to show it. So if you don't show it, but do it in your head, a, a strict marker might say, well, he or she just missed it. So there you are. If we were to add this up, this comes to 2490, I believe. Total assets. So take your time. The ability to construct a balance sheet, a CSFP, partly from the question, partly from your workings, is a very highly valued skill by the markers. So we must be up there with the best students. In the second half of the CSFP, so the first half was 2490, the subsidiary company current account has been cancelled, you see. So in the second half, we have equity and liabilities. Equity. 
equity and liabilities, which is the ordinary share capital, parents own only, which is 600. Then you have your share premium. Indeed, that should be the parents only. And that's 200. And indeed, you have near that the consolidated reserves, which is the retained earnings, workings, and that figure, of course, is 1145. Then you have your NCI, which is obviously 195. And the current liabilities which is trade payables from the question. Have a look at the question. 250 plus 100 which is obviously 350. Then you have S's books Parent company current account. It's whose books that you it's 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 the person's books that it's in that decides the status. So it's the current liability, the subsidiary is going to pay two hundred to you. You're the parent and the subsidiary member. So that's two hundred, cancel like that, and so that's going to be nil. And so as you add it up, it comes to 350 on the right, which when added up to the other bits, you have your total equity and liabilities to four. Nine zero. So two hundred plus six hundred one one four five one ninety five three fifty two four nine zero. So again, I'd just like to show you the technique I used to summarize. So what to remember from that in the exam? The first thing you do is you open up your CSFP. The second thing you do is you go, go to your workings. In your workings, you do things like the group structure, your consolidation adjustments, obviously your net assets, and from the net assets, you do your big three. You see, your goodwill, the NCI, and the consolidated reserves. Okay, so that's the sort of general idea. Open up your required accounts, do your workings. And the last step, of course, is to come back and finish off. Now finish the CSFB. That's the general idea. Okay, so that's a summary of how we did our question called Pool and Stour. Do stop the tape and have another look to see how you might do a question such as that. It needs to be a little bit longer for the exam and maybe a few comments as well. It is one of those comments I'm coming to in the next few minutes. But do revise Pool and Stour and indeed the question we did before that as well, Paul and Saul.